An exclusive Cronkite News investigation has found a Phoenix strip club is running an unsanctioned female cage fighting operation. It was our own reporter, Tyler Paley, who brought this case to the state's attention. Tyler, what's the latest? Nicole, it started with a tip from a source, and after a four-month investigation, the Arizona Gaming Department confirmed to Cronkite News that this club is a repeat offender. This scene is at Jaguars, an adult entertainment club near the I-17 and McDowell in Phoenix. Cell phone video filmed by Cronkite News on January 25th shows two females fighting in a makeshift octagon cage, with patrons cheering them on. The battles are marketed as ultimate stripper cage fights and take place every Thursday night, according to advertisements on the club's Facebook page. But Caroline Oppelman from the Arizona Department of Gaming says these fights are not sanctioned by the agency's Boxing and MMA Commission. We regulate and supervise all sanctioned uh, boxing and MMA events it, uh, conducted statewide here in Arizona. Oppelman says these activities are illegal. The club could be guilty of a class two misdemeanor. But for Oppelman, the legal ramifications are secondary to the safety hazards in play. You face serious bodily injury and potential other uh, illnesses associated with bloodborne pathogens and one emergency room visit that, that, you, that could end up affecting you for the rest of your life. Gaming department records provided to Cronkite News show an anonymous complaint was lodged in early March 2017 in reference to the fights. Two and a half weeks later, special agents from the gaming department entered the club. They observed an unsanctioned uh, cage fight. About two weeks later, gaming department officials made contact with John Allen, the manager of the club. Agents told Allen Jaguars was violating the law and were seeking willful compliance for the club to cease and desist the illegal activity of hosting unsanctioned cage fights. Allen agreed to stop the fights immediately. A notice of inspection was issued, and at that point, the case was closed. But new information shows Jaguars was conducting these fights as recently as this April. Records show special agents again entered the club on April 5th and observed two matches that evening. They did not observe any medical staff on site, and the referee was not believed to be properly licensed. Agents returned to the club the following day and again issued a notice of inspection, this time to day shift manager Isaiah Scaiardo Jr., who said he did not have the authority to stop the fights and would have to contact his boss, Ricardo Hernandez. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, this message is for Ricardo Hernandez. My name is Cronkite Tyler News Bailey. left a voicemail with Hernandez, but as of this broadcast, he did uh, not respond to our request for comment. While the gaming department itself can't press criminal charges, Oppelman says they prefer education over prosecution, despite it being the second violation for Jaguars. All that we can do is, is provide the establishment with the information about what is a violation and what they could be looking at if they continue to violate. But Caroline, you just said that, that when you find out this information, at some point you do pass it along to lawyers. I'm just wondering at what point that is, at what it's, point? It's our understanding from the visit that they intend to discontinue these activities and their intention is to comply. And as of now? The case is open and they will keep it open until uh, they determine what further actions might be needed. As of now, the Arizona Department of Gaming has not passed this information on to prosecutors. The state cannot press criminal charges until they do so. In the, in the broadcast center, Tyler Paley, Cronkite News.